Hello everyone, my name is Robbie Connect. So I've been doing Uber Eats and DoorDash, these delivery services for about three weeks now. And I have some numbers and some screenshots to break down. First, let me show you some screenshots here. So I'm gonna stand actually over here so the screenshots can pop up over here. Here's one screenshot. For $7.64, for a total of mile of 3.8, total mileage of 3.8 miles, and a duration of 19 minutes and 31 seconds. It's like, okay, uh, that comes out to be about a little less than $2 per mile. If you just divide 7.64 divided by 3.8, it's a little less than $2 per mile. But then I had another order here where it was $20.01 for 2.3 miles and a duration of 19 minutes and 16 seconds, which is basically the same exact duration as the $7.64 one. The reason I got to this was going back through the apps to calculate how many miles I was doing per trip. And one of the things actually is Uber Eats allows you to see how many miles uh, and keeps track of your mileage when DoorDash on the other hand does not keep track of your mileage. So it may be one of the reasons why I'm gonna start doing Uber Eats more than I do DoorDash so that I can keep track of how many miles I'm actually putting on my vehicle uh, so that when the time comes, I can write off uh, some things for taxes. I wanna say I looked it up, it's about 56 cents per mile um, for tax deductions. So I want to try to do the least amount of miles as possible and get the most amount of money in the least amount of time. And I was, as I was going through calculating out like how many miles I put on um, via Uber Eats, I started to notice why, or asking the question like, why did I accept this order? One reason could be that I was new to the app, so I was kind of just accepting everything. But now, with a little bit more experience, I'm probably going to be a lot more selective on what uh, deliveries I actually accept. So it's like seeing the less mileage for almost three times the amount of money, 2.3 miles for $20.01 for the same amount of time. 3.8 miles and $7.64. So it's so like, okay, now I'm gonna be a lot more selective on what orders I take. To add on to that, I was trying to calculate like how much downtime am I spending compared to how much active time I'm actually spending. And this is kind of where it flips, where it's like Uber Eats shows you your online time, and it also, but it also shows you your mileage and how many miles you've done. DoorDash, on the other hand, shows you does not show you your mileage and how many miles you've done, but it does show you your active time compared to your downtime, or no, your dash time. In this instance, to calculate how much downtime I was spending roughly, uh, I used DoorDash to calculate this. So for the first week that I did, I did, I have the numbers right here on my little whiteboard. And that little whiteboard is four, four by eight feet whiteboard. So it's a big whiteboard. Gotta have a mastermind wall. <laughs> For the first week doing DoorDash, dash time, I spent 45 minutes and 19, no, 45, yeah, 45 minutes and 95 seconds. Let me actually look at that. So for dash time, I did 45 hours and 95 minutes. Active time, I did 32 hours and 68 minutes. The difference is 13 hours and 27 minutes was downtime basically. The time I was kind of just sitting there uh, waiting around, grabbing a cup of coffee or stuff like that. So it's like, okay, how can I optimize, have less downtime and get more of those $20 for 2.8 mile uh, deliveries? This is basically a video ranting, figuring out numbers. I have a spreadsheet basically of all the, all the stats uh, to keep track of and then also totals to go with it. And then how much I'm making per hour, per delivery, per mile, and then also how many miles on average it will be per delivery. I just wanted to point out though that do not make the mistake of accepting a $7.64 delivery that will take you 3.8 miles when you can accept a $20.01 delivery for 2.3 miles and they're both the same exact time. So hope this video was helpful. I'll have a couple more videos like this. Anyways, see you in the next one. Peace. Love you. Bye.